We're going to be converting point slope form into slope intercept form and standard form. <coughs> Example number one. Y plus 3 equals negative 4 times the quantity x minus 2. Now this is point slope form. So to remind you, point slope form is in the form y minus y sub 1 <coughs> equals m, my slope, times the quantity x minus x sub 1. So we're going to convert this into slope intercept form. Does anybody remember what slope intercept form is? What is slope intercept form? Oh, it's the y. Y equals? Y equals mx. mx plus, plus b. b. Very good. All right, so that's our slope intercept. That's our slope intercept form. And one more form, our standard form. The standard form is going to be? Y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub Close. That's how we find our slope. <coughs> our standard form is going to be ax plus by equals c. And I'll show you how to get to those. Not too bad. No worries. All right. First, we're going to go from point slope to slope intercept. All right. What I'm going to do here is just solve this equation for y. Okay, I'm going to solve this equation for y. So if I want, I'm going to distribute this negative 4 first. Okay, there's a couple ways to do this, but there's a way I'm going to do it. So y plus 3 equals negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. All right, so the first thing I did was distribute. Solving for y. I want to get y on one side all by itself. So uh, y is on the left side. There's a positive 3 here. So I want to bring this positive 3 to the right side. And I'm going to do the opposite, which is going to be subtract. So all I'm doing is solving for y here. So y equals positive 3 and negative 3 simplify or cancel out equals negative 4x plus 5. <coughs> so, so far, now I'm in slope intercept form. I got this form done. Check. Now from this form, I want to convert it into standard form. Right, so what this is telling me is I want both my terms with the x and y on the same side. So here's my y, here's my x. Are they on the same side? No. no. This negative 4x needs to be on the same <coughs> side as the y. How do I get this negative 4x to the other side of the equation? Um, divide negative no. You add 4x. Add 4x to both sides. Very good. So I'm going to add 4x here to both sides. So I'm going to do a plus 4x, plus 4x. I'm going to write my x term first. So I'm going to say 4x. And then what sign goes in front of the y? There's no sign here that's written. One. No, no, no. There's a 1 there, but what sign? The, the, the coefficient is 1, positive. Okay, so plus y equals 5. Now, are both the terms with the x and y on the same side? Yes. Yes. Your first term should be the term with the x. Okay? Second, your coefficients, 4, 1, and then your last number, 5. You should have your first coefficient should be positive. In this case, is it positive? Yes. And all your coefficients should be um, integers or numbers with no fractions. Do I have any fractions? Then that is my standard form. I am all done. Second example, y plus 4 equals 1 fourth times the quantity of x plus 4. First step. You would distribute the 1 fourth to both x and the 4 terms. Beautiful. Distribute the 1 fourth to both numbers in my quantity. So I got y plus 4 equals 1 fourth x plus 1. 1 fourth times 4 is going to be 1. For, point, for slope into set form, what's my next step? I want to get my... Subtract 1 on both sides? Or subtract 4 on both sides. I want to solve for y. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So minus 4, minus 4. Bring down my y. My 4 simplify, y equals 1 fourth x, 1 minus 4, and I get minus 3. So there's only two steps, right? You're distributing, and you're bringing over the next term. 
combine like terms. Now my slope intercept form, check. Y equals mx plus b. Now from here, let's get this into standard form. Are both my terms with the x and y on the same side? No, okay, so have y is on the left, 1 fourth x is on the right. Let's bring this over. Let's bring this 1 fourth x over to the left side. How do I bring this positive 1 fourth x to the left? Yep. <coughs> Good, let's subtract 1 fourth x, subtract 1 fourth x. So this is going to give me negative 1 fourth x plus y equals negative 3. Almost there. Negative 1 fourth x plus y equals negative 3. My leading coefficient, my a, which is negative 1 fourth, I want it to be positive. So what can I multiply a negative by to make it positive? Positive. What can I multiply a by a negative? So I'm going to multiply this by a negative. That will make that first term a positive. And the one-fourth. I don't want a fraction. How do I clear this one-fourth? Multiply by what? How do I clear this one-fourth? What do I multiply one-fourth by? Four. By four. So I'm going to multiply this whole thing by negative four. That's going to get rid of my negative in the front and my fraction of one-fourth. So negative four times one-fourth is going to give me positive one x. Negative 4 times 4y is going to give me negative 4y equals and then negative 4 times negative 3 is going to give me positive 12. <coughs> now I have my ax plus or minus by equals c. My first term is positive and I have no more fractions in there as well. Alright, so next example, y plus 5 equals negative 7 halves times the quantity x minus 2. First step. What's my first step? What do I do? Distribute. Beautiful. Distribute negative 7 halves. So I got y plus 5 equals negative 7 halves x. A negative times a negative is a positive. 7 over 2 times 2 over 1 just becomes 7. Okay, so I distributed my <coughs> number first. Again, there's other ways to do this, but I'm just going to show. I'm going to stick to this way. Okay, I'm almost in slope-intercept form. What else do I need to do to put this in slope-intercept form? Yes. Subtract, subtract what? Five. Beautiful. So subtract five from both sides, solving for y. My five simplifies, so I have y equals negative seven over two x seven minus five plus two. Beautiful. <coughs> Now we got our slope intercept form. Standard form. How do I get this into standard form? What do I do? How do I get this into standard form? What do I do? You have to uh, add uh, 7 halves x. Beautiful. You have to add it on the other side. Let's add 7 halves x to both sides plus 7 halves <coughs> x. So I'm going to have 7 over 2 or 7 halves x plus y equals 2. Is my leading coefficient positive? Yes. Yes. Do I have all whole numbers here? No. No. I need to get rid of 7 over 2. I need to get rid of this over 2 here. How do I get rid of this fraction here? Multiply. Multiply by? Beautiful. Let's multiply this whole thing by 2. Do I have to multiply by a negative 2? No, right? Because my leading coefficient is already positive. Beautiful. I don't have to do that. Only if it was negative like in the last example. Multiply by 2, so 2 times 7 halves, x is just going to be 7x. 2 times y is going to be plus 2y equals, and then 2 times 2 is going to be 4. And here's our two forms. This is my slope intercept, or y equals mx plus b. And this is my standard, ax plus by equals c. Okay, last one. Y plus 1 equals negative 1 half times the quantity x plus 3. First step. Distribute negative 1 half to x plus 3. Beautiful. <coughs> Distribute negative 1 half. So I got y plus 1 equals negative 1 half x minus negative times a positive is a negative. 1 half times 3 is simply just going to be 3 over 2. 
or three halves. Okay. So you can have one over two times three over one, which is just simply three over two, and you can leave it just like that. Almost there. Slope into step form. How do I get this in slope into step form? What do I do now? Just like all the other examples. What's my next step? Beautiful. Let's get solve for y. Let's get one by itself. Subtract one from both sides. So I have y equals negative one half x, and I have negative three halves minus one. So negative three over two minus two over two. One is the same thing as two over two, which gives me negative five over two. So minus five over two. This is my slope into step form. So y equals mx plus b. Good so far. We're allowed to have fractions in this form. Leave it just the way it is. Standard form. First step for standard form. How do I get this into standard form? Plus one half x. Excellent. Get my x and y's on both on the same side. So add one half x to both sides. So I got one half x plus y equals negative, <coughs> negative 5 halves. 1 half x plus y equals negative 5 halves. Is my first term positive? Yes. Yes, we got that down. Do I have fractions? Yes. Yes, I don't want these fractions. How do I get rid of these denominators of 2? Now, luckily, we do, they both have the same denominator, 2. How do I clear this fraction? Multiply by 2. Excellent. Multiply the whole fraction or the whole problem by 2. 2 times 1 half is just going to give me 1x, or just x. 2 times positive y is positive plus 2y equals, and then 2 times negative 5 halves, your 2's will simplify, leaving you with just negative 5. And then this form is in your ax plus by equals c, or your standard form.